Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mythic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reduce the size of your videos just by a bunch when you use Fraps. Like, let us, let's just take this for example. I go to my desktop stuff. Alright, so, this is a uh, recording that I did of on how to record your desktop with Fraps, which, um, if you need help with that, I have a video for that that will be be up and let's just go to properties and 2.81 gigabytes that's the size of that and it's a minute and six long video 2.81 gigabytes and that's just insane that would take forever to upload but with what I did same video same quality quality same everything 35 megabytes now that is just insane like how fast it does that so I will show you how to um, how we uh, just let's close out of that how to do it actually so you're gonna need two programs don't download it that's going to be uh, virtual dub and I will have a link in the description to the download site and uh, so it's virtualdub.sourceforge.net and then you're just gonna uh, click download I already have this downloaded so I'm not gonna do it you're going to f install virtual dub first because uh, if you install uh, this other program first then you won't see it until you restart the program so install virtual dub first and then go to xvid uh, dot xvidmovies dot com slash codec and then you're gonna download that and install that and now what you're gonna do is your first you would download the audio or not audio uh, the virtual dub and then you're after you download the xvid uh, xvid whatever Kodiak thing that I told you to you're gonna open up a uh, virtual dub so let's go to virtual dub uh, virtual dub that exe and then click run and so let's just drag in that video for example so we're going to go to file open video click on the two uh, gigabyte video and then you're just going to go to video compression and then the xvid mp mpeg for um, codec whatever you're just gonna click that and then click OK should have no restrictions click OK and then you're just gonna save the file as a save file as AVI and then we'll just do test and then it'll come up with this and it'll actually go through your video in, in the background going frame by frame or like not actually frame by f frame but uh it'll go through the video so you can see where you are at in the video and it's just uh, really good so I'm actually gonna cancel this cuz I already have it done but just okay let, let's just I know you guys hey can't guys see how's it, it going oh, sorry about that uh, just all the same though like there's no difference in the quality you can't really tell because it's a desktop recording but um <clears throat> It's just wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoy.